Virgo, hi, how are you? My name is Donna, and this is Donna Wilder Hearts channel, Irish Donna Tarot, and we are here to do a tarot scope for the month of October. This is absolutely an incredible reading for you. You are letting go. When we look at the energy throughout the reading, we are looking at you really deciding what you value, what you will give time to, what you will give energy to in terms of your life. You're very much, you know, Virgo, you have this beautiful card um, from the spirit of the Oracle, and it really speaks to the fact that you are the High Lord of gratitude and service. I really see you in this energy, Virgo, of selfless humility, conscious action, but you are studying, you're, you're really letting go of burdens that aren't yours. Spirit is saying that you feel most comfortable right now with birds of a feather in familiar surroundings. You are really looking for sort of the comforts of home. We also have this energy that your, your challenge this month is all of the things that you remember. There's something that is haunting you a little bit from the past. There's something about your memories that's really taking hold in your psyche right now. It's definitely affecting your mood, the actions and the decisions that you're going to make in the very near future. I think for many of you, when we look at the tarot scope and we look at you, you absolutely love somebody. You feel underwater because you would love to make an offer to somebody that you've known for a very long time. And it doesn't feel like you're really allowed to do this. We get this Pisces energy. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of fantasy, but you're feeling very underwater. So there, you know, there's a, an offer that you want to make that you really feel restricted about. Now, the person you may want to make this offer to seems to be somebody that you've worked with, somebody that has invested in you, somebody that um, you don't really fully understand. You know they're on your side. <laughs> you feel as though they, they would look out for you, almost like a little spy. But this is somebody that you pay attention to on the internet. And I don't really think your person has any idea that you have these deeper feelings for them. In terms of your money, many of you are feeling as though you've fallen behind. We get three of cups. You do have a great support system. You have many people who will chip in and help you. You have many good friends. But being a Virgo, you would really never ask for help. You really would not. But what we're seeing here is that you have a, look at six of cups, six of cups. You have a a divine connection, a soulmate who wants to be your lover, who wants for you to choose them. And I feel as though you're tr you've tried to just stay friends with this person, Virgo. When it looks like you're, you know, the day-to-day -day neighborhood that you're operating in, the work that you're doing, it, it looks as though you want to give up some sort of burden in your neighborhood. There's something about your neighborhood that seems to be representing a big burden that you'd like to just leave alone. I think many of you would like to move. It, you know, you definitely feel as though your neighborhood has a lot of noise, a lot of turmoil. There looks as though it's, it's just, there's something about it. It's hard to get around in your neighborhood. We also see this energy that for many of you, you are remembering a place or a time long ago, maybe when you were a child, that every day was exciting when you got up. Every day was mystical and magical. And even when there was a storm, you found it to be quite beautiful. The page of cups speaks to the fact that you were young, you were innocent, you know, you were in this energy of you know birds of a feather i think you're remembering childhood friends a great deal childhood experiences it's challenging you because you feel as though your life isn't like that anymore and yet you long for the happiness and the joy that it brought you 
for many of you, you desire and hold on to the concept and the idea and you're manifesting this beautiful Taurus energy, this energy in your home, in your family life of having savings, of having abundance, of really creating a life and a love relationship that will give you the support through the ages. You know, from here until your end of time on this planet, as you know it in this incarnation, you have this strong desire for this empress. It can represent hearth and home and mother, which is exactly what the fourth house on the astrology wheel represents. But it really looks as though you want that intensely nurturing energy. Somebody who is in your life that is there to support you, that doesn't overwhelm you. They hold back a little bit. They let you be who you are, but you want this really nurturing energy of somebody who wants the very best for you regardless of what it does in their lives they want the best for you no matter what the highest good for you is a way that they love you unconditionally in a very maternalistic nurturing beautiful venusuvian way this is venus love this is a kind of love that legends are made of virgo when we look at your career you are very solid. It looks like many of you may sign a major contract. You have fire in your belly. You are looking for expansion. You're looking for stability. This can be buying a home. This can be investing in real estate. But this is investing in a partnership, a partnership in which both of you have fire in your belly, a partnership in which you can really build a foundation uh, in which you can work and you have the opportunities that you want to have available to you. When we look at your fifth house of romance, you are missing somebody that you love. This is somebody that you've worked with. I think it's this person that really is pretty oblivious, this person that doesn't seem to really know how much you love them. This energy is you want to eat, drink, and be merry, except you're alone without this person. You feel lonely without them. The Three of Pentacles is all about uh, a couple who collaborate, a couple who creates something really special and dynamic in the work environment, and it comes from that creative romantic source. So this would be like if you have a partner that loves to look at homes or loves to look at decorating, but this is very creative, collaborative, joyful energy, and you feel, you know, like you're alone in this. When we look at your energy of your hopes and your dreams and your friends and the groups that you associate with, hot diggity dog, you have people who are on fire, people who want to bring you into a group situation. They want to create a coalition, a collaboration in which all of you can work together. Again, I feel this is this friendship energy, feeling really safe as though you can, you know, you can do it, letting go of the things that do not really serve you in your health, your well-being, your everyday life. We see you in this beautiful Queen of Wands energy, very fiery. You're fired up. You're passionate. You feel as though you can conquer the world. You're looking at things from a different perspective. You're taking your time, Virgo, because you do not rush your decision making. When we look at your 12th house, that which is hidden, secret, what's in your 12th house? The 12th house can unravel you or it can give you the blessings of foresight and vision and we see that you're in this very emotional energy here scorpionic energy you want to burn away anything that doesn't serve you you would like to burn away any any people in your life that pull you under that make you feel wounded that you really feel are very disruptive and that you want to let go of those burdens you have been through enough storms that you, Virgo, are the absolute king of cups. You are the captain of the ship that has made it out numerous times from storms that would have capsized lesser men, quote unquote, men or people. You have so much inner power and strength. 
you are bringing that to the table and you are going to combine it in an investment that you're going to nurture like a mother. You're going to nurture some sort of investment or effort. When we look at Capricorn, when we look at coins, we can talk about real real tangible goods. It can, but oftentimes it's property, investments, finances, but you are really on this precipice of turning the corner and really making, creating this almost like an emotional, an emotional group of people that you can really depend on. People that you can let go of all your worry. You don't have to constantly be in service. You can be who you are, but I love the energy of really birds of a feather. And so your friendships are sort of haunting you and saying, come back, come back to us. All the people that you care about, all the people that you love at the deepest level, love you in return. And so you are at a crossroads of, in a manner of speaking, of deciding who will go and who will stay. And you are going to let someone or something go in your life. You're going to really go back to your roots and you're going to create something massive and beautiful. And the Empress Energy is here to really tell you that this will be with you and create a foundation like you've never had before. So Virgo, it's an exciting month for you, October. So we're going to go to the love reading momentarily. Thank you so much. If you join me for the love reading, it is for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And this reading, the tarot scope, is typically for the sun sign and the rising sign. But it is for anybody who is interested in Virgo energy. So thank you so much. Let's jump into your love reading. Virgo, your love reading is very interesting. Let's look at the energy of you and your, your beloved in the recent past. Both of you want to be together. Both of you want commitment, and yet both of you are skeptical that you can have it. The Four of Cups says, where's my love? Where's my love down here? And it's back here. You're not even looking at this. This person is laughing and chuckling, and they're not looking at that energy of stairway to heaven. So both of you adore each other, you both love each other, and you both want the same thing. Now it looks as though the two of you have been apart for a while, and the Eight of Cups says that somebody is not happy here. You know, and this is mutual energy. The Eight of Cups is walking away, and yet feeling as though there's so much that's been unsaid and left unsaid. We have the King of Cups here again. But the energy right now, the Eight of Cups is walking away, not really engaging, and yet look at that energy. We had the King of Cups in your life path reading. The two of you are so capable of having this, but for some reason, for some reason, I feel, Virgo, that both of you feel it's impossible. Your person, Virgo, fantasizes about being married. Hierophant, Hierophant. We have the same card bookending this top row of cards. Your person fantasizes about it. So I really want to know what's going on with this energy right here. Who's walking away? What is going on with that energy? Because we have this energy of staying still. The King of Cups doesn't walk away. The King of Cups is there to stay, literally. <laughs> And Spirit is recommending that the King of Cups be there. What is this Eight of Cups? What is this about? What's going on here? What is the Eight of Cups energy? Let's see. We have Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So having to leave to go work on something. And we have the Page of Wands. Being very enthusiastic about a new work project. So leaving somebody behind because you almost don't think you have a choice or somebody's going off on a voyage of some sort, right? The King of Cups. That is certainly the king that has brought the ship back of the fishermen, the perfect storm. And so we're seeing that somebody has been on a prolonged work, a work or a situation where they're giving a lot of creative energy to it. 
So when we look at the energy of your person and them fantasizing about marriage with you, it's a, it's there's a lot of cups, a lot of love, and a lot of confusion. Your person views you, Virgo, as a very good-looking devil. <laughs> they see you as maybe somebody who doesn't really let anybody in. Virgo, your person feels as though it's your way or the highway. They feel as though you're very defensive, that you put walls up. Your person could be a Gemini or Virgo, but you're manifesting this very beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy. That Queen of Pentacles is a mommy card. That is a card about nurturing love. That's a card of I bring home the bacon, I fry it up in the pan, and I take care of my man. And you know, but it's both ways. So if you are in love with a feminine energy, you know, that would be sort of the saying that I would give it. But again, this is a very nurturing, magical energy. Your person finds you so compelling, so desirable. They feel as though they can hold their own. Look at, we have two Capricorns here. We have Capricorn energy, both of you. Your person feels maybe that you're obsessed with work. And they feel as though, you know, when you want to see them, you do. And when you don't want to, you may hide behind work. And they see through that. <laughs> Your person sees through that energy because Capricorn to Capricorn facing each other. Your person, Virgo, sees you as this very, you are their wish fulfillment. The moon card says, though, that that is a very dark secret they keep to themselves. They've never given you any indication that they would like to be married to you. In fact, you probably think this person would never want to be married, but it looks as though your person is really struggling, struggling with that energy, really feeling, again, underwater. We saw in your life path reading that there was this undercurrent of somebody close to you that you don't feel you can have a relationship with that you want, and yet both of you are feeling the same way. The Ten of Cups here and the Page of Cups is a hidden energy between the two of you. That's a happily ever after. We have Hierophant, Hierophant, happily ever after. Wishes, hopes, and dreams for love coming true. It's a very interesting reading. It's like the two of you don't talk. Both of you are very childlike around each other. You're very, very much in the energy of being very sweet together. Spirit is saying that the two of you are powerhouses, that any problem that exists between the two of you, you have King of Swords energy, it's Aquarius energy. Both of you are very intelligent. Both of you know how to navigate troubled waters. You know, both of you have this energy and, and Spirit is saying, trust it. Trust the fact that there's not any problem the two of you can't solve. I see both of you spending a lot of time, you know, trying to figure one another out, the Page of Swords uh, and the Queen of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. So your outcome for this week is that both of you are, you're not talking to each other very much. We do have Mercury retrograde. So the Page of Swords, well, you know, might as well be upside down. But what we have here is two people who are very curious about one another that communicate pretty sparsely at the present time and that, you know, both of you are just sort of keeping to yourself. Let's look and see what else the energy is here. What is the energy? I'm going to do a you versus them, a quickie. Three cards for you. One. Two. One more card for Virgo and how they feel about their person. Okay, three. Okay, so <laughs> Virgo, you're a little bit intimidated. You have a really powerful business person, somebody who is very courageous, who's very bold, who's very successful. You have someone that you adore for these qualities. You absolutely find them irresistible. You find them fiery. You find them sexy. You find them very intelligent, but you want to spend your life with them. That's the infinity symbol. You've had lives together in the past. This is very much a mirror souls kind of a relationship, but it's 
it's you both have tamed the you know the beast within and the two of you absolutely love each other you have a very strong intellectual feeling both of you look like you're kind of uh, well critical you know virgo's picky right so let's see your person look at their feelings one card for your person. Let's get two more cards for how your person feels on this you versus them reading because that was a very unsatisfying moment of the video. <laughs> so let's see what we have for Virgo in love. Your person doesn't want to carry any burdens. Ten of Wands. There's something about the relationship being stifled that feels... This person is not willing to give up on you no matter what. Ten of Wands, usually upright, the person walks away. The Devil card, though. Your person feels as very obsessive about you. And they feel as though you, you are obsessive also. They just don't know if it's about them. So the two of you, you know, are in a tricky situation. Tell us about the Devil card in terms of your person, Virgo. What is it about the Devil card that we need to know for your person? Ace of Cups are obsessed with loving you. Look at this energy here. They love you. They think about you all the time. And the Queen of Swords for you, you're obsessed with wanting to spend time with them. The Three of Cups, you want to celebrate life with them. You want to walk through life with them. So that's what I have for you. That is your reading for October. So thank you so much. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and leave some comments. I answer all of them. Bye-bye.